And these guys have been there for, for the good part of 10, 15 minutes. I don't know, they're just watching me. I, I don't really know what their purpose is. I'm just sort of stationed off. Hi, can I help you? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm just making a video. Oh, right. What for? Uh, matters of public interest. Ah, oh, okay. Well, have fun. Thanks. I'm just making a video. About what? Uh, the police station. Right. Please, you must understand that you can't take a video of a police station like that. Oh, why not? So it goes down as like hostile reconnaissance. No, this isn't hostile. But so that's what it's called. I mean, you can't take. It's not a good idea, mate, let's be honest, alright? Taking a video of a police station when people are coming to it just to try and keep tabs on it isn't a good idea. I'm not it's keeping tabs on anyone. I'm um, just matters of public interest. No, the public are interested. Sorry? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? All right. All right. All right. It looks like. The action is is about to begin. See if they're going to come out. Hi, sir, are you okay? Yeah, are you recording me? I am at the moment, okay. Okay. Have you got anything with your details on it? I don't, I'm afraid, no. Right, okay. Are you happy to provide your details at the moment? No, I'm afraid not, no. Right, okay, well, we're going to check you out anyway, because you can't be taking... Okay. I'm not video. required to give any information, to be fair. I'm on a public pavement filming. I'm yeah, not I appreciate that. Places. All right, but it's a special activity outside the police station. You're watching the coming and goings of police officers. Okay. Can okay. I ask you to identify yourself, please? Yeah, certainly. It's PC Craig Sweet, and that's my caller number there, okay? All right. I have absolutely no issue with okay. public filming, okay, yeah, but I have an issue with you. It, it looks as if you're filming the coming and going of police officers in and out. It's okay. a security concern for us, okay? Okay, we are in public. I, I appreciate you've already been up at St. Leonard's today as well, at the other Yeah, station I was, yeah, town. that's right, yeah. Um, so so it's been circulated then? Yeah, so we're well aware of what's going on now, okay? okay? And I don't know, what's your, your purpose with this? What do you do with this? It's just for my own, rec own, own recreation. Right, okay. What's your first name? 
Oh, hello. How are you? Yeah, not so bad. Oh, are you recording? Are you recording me? Yes, I am. All right. You need to let members of the public know that they're being recorded. Yeah, I'm just about to. You know, you've you interrupted me. Forgive right. me. I'm Sergeant Shields. Okay. I'm a firearms officer. I yep. work at Fetties. Who are you, please? Um, I'm a member of the public taking uh, photos. I'll give you my name. I've kindly give you my name. Yeah. Could you give me yours? Please? Well, with all due respect, I don't need to hand over any information at this time. Right. So why are you filming? Uh, for my own recreation. Uh huh. The comings and goings of police, police vehicles. And you, you, go ahead. I mean, I'm quite happy to let you do that. Okay. No problems at all. Right. All right. But as I can't say, why can you not just give us your name? Then we can check out your name to make sure you're not a security alert to the police. I'm not required to give my name. I'm not a security yeah, we risk. We need to check and make sure you're not a you security risk. You don't need to check if anything. If I suspect you're a security risk, I'll detain you under terrorism offences. There's okay? no need to do that. Yeah. You need to have grounds. Why can't you just. Well, I'm, that's what I'm getting to, sir. Okay. Filming from public is not grounds yeah, for any sort of terrorist. Uh, but you're filming the police search. station, the come and goings. I know. The police vehicles. I know. And but it's not hostile. Well, that's what we need to determine. Well, I'm giving you my word. Why can you not? What? You've given me your word. You've, Do you, you think someone. Your name. I think hostile reconnaissance. Just, all we're asking for is your name and date of birth. So I'm, I, can't give, I can't give it, I'm sorry. I can't give it. You can't give it. I won't you're, give quite it. Well, you're, you're quite happy to film personal police vehicles coming and going. So, we, so you don't think that's suspicious? No, what information so, could I pull from someone's personal vehicle? Right, so you don't think that's suspicious? You're refusing to provide me any details as a courtesy. You're filming a police station. I don't owe you any courtesy. Right? I'm, I'm on a pavement taking photos I'm not from public. you owe me a courtesy. Well... Right, so you can't, you can't just give me your details so we I'm can check you out not, and then no. we can let you continue filming. I can't give any details, I'm afraid, sorry. Right, okay, stand by. Vehicles, understand that we don't know what your, your intentions are. Okay, what could so I possibly do with, with this video? But we don't know what your intentions are. If you were looking around somebody's property, for example, okay, right, which isn't too dissimilar to this, right? There's a there's legislation in place that we can say that there, we you, there is no legislation, has, there's no legislation to stop members of the public taking photographs no, of public, but there is legislation in place that if we think somebody's going there to commit a crime or somebody's going I'm there not. to scope out somewhere, all right. You um, mentioned hostile reconnaissance, that you, would be done covertly, not overt. Fair enough, yeah, but you're currently in the, the cartilage of a, a police building, okay? I know. This so, isn't a valuable target for those that would want to do hostile reconnaissance. How do you know that? Because there's no data or information that supports that claim. Like, police station has never been subject to a terrorist attack. At least not in Scotland. It doesn't mean it's not going to... Do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean it's not well, a target. Well, you have to of course it's a target. based on stuff that has happened, not, you know, we would, stuff we that hasn't happened. We would speak to you exactly the same if you were walking around the airport or if you were walking around the airport. I know, the but there's, certain, by, there's certain bylaws at airports that restrict filming and stuff. I know this. I'm, I'm not irresponsible. I wouldn't come here and do this if I knew that there was a genuine security I, I totally concern. I totally respect your right to do, to Thank do you. this. Thank you. Then, right? then, 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 no then, then leave me to you. it. He was talking about terror offences and stuff. I don't really appreciate being branded as such. But you can understand where we're... Surely you can understand that... We have to be very cautious of this kind of thing happening outside the police I understand, you know, we can have a conversation about it. I'm yeah, trying to make assurances and, and satisfy yeah, that I'm not here for any, any trouble. Um, you know, I want to work with you to satisfy yeah, that. But it's also my right, I don't have to say anything. I don't have to account for my presence. I don't yeah. have to account for my filming as well. Yeah, absolutely. But I think it's, it's sensible for us to have an adult conversation. Yeah, then that's and what we're doing. We and can, I've, got no, I've got no issues. If we yes, can establish that you're not arrest anyone and I'm you're not... not well, the only this way I can a, do this that... Is a camera. I know, but the only way I can do that is take your details, check them out. I'm not arrest anyone. I can't give no details, sorry. If you're not arresting anyone, then we can let you carry on, or we can let you go about your business. Do you know what I mean? Well, not, 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 any, not everyone is an unknown risk. Like this isn't a police state where everyone is is, no, is a I suspect. That. No, we, do you know what I mean? This is a freedom to take photographs. I'm just expressing my right. That's there's nothing more to it than that. To be fair. Yeah, yeah you know what? But we don't know. How, we can't establish that, can we? We're taking your word for it, and unfortunately, but you have to go on based on things you do. Truth, yeah, yeah, no, so. but you have to go on based on objective facts and things you do know. Not. Yeah, yeah but the but facts are that you're refusing to take those details. Because I'm not required task. to. That's a simple task. There's no legislation well, that, that means so I need to. at the to. moment you're refusing to desist. That's right. You're refusing to find me details to your virgin on breaking a, make, a committing an offence. Right? What offence would that be? Yeah. I'm going to get a divisional set to come and take over from me. There's no need You've for this, man. four opportunities just to give us your details. I'm not going to give details. Only the Reform Act or if I was in a vehicle, I'd have to give details. What, what offence am I on you, the verge? I'm asking you to move on. Or provide me your details so I can check. I can't do either. 
I'm can't in a public place. I can't why move not? on from because I'm in a public place. This is my right of why, why? Um, freedom of but movement. But it's my right to know if you're a security risk to the police station. I'm not a security risk. Oh, it says who? It says you. Yeah. Well, until you have some sort of like evidence or but reasonable evidence suspicion. Says you're filming without good reason as the security gate to my police station. Is it your police station or is it the taxpayers? To where I work. Is it the public's police station? You can, you can, pick, a, you can pick arguments with them all day, sir. All right. That's entirely up to you. Would you identify yourself? The, yeah, I did when I first came here. What, what was your name? My name's Sergeant Shields and I work in, work in here. All right, Sergeant. And I'm policing. Rest assured, I'm not here for any, no hostile well, motives. Well, I appreciate that. But all I, would, all I was asking for was your name and date of birth. And then I can confirm who you are. And you're from Edinburgh or wherever you're from. And then I can continue to let you go about your business. Nobody's going to bother you. How would my name satisfy that? Because I can check our police systems to make sure that you're not any sort of threat to the security here. It's not, not difficult. I know, but I don't have to That's give my name. That's not a difficult, difficult thing. But I now you're, down, you're making me suspicious because you're refusing to provide me your name. I'm doing this I gave you mine. broad daylight. You guys are armed, you know. All I've got is a camera. Yeah, but armed because we're coming back in to, to do our handover. We haven't been sent to this incident shift. armed. I know. Okay, we're, we're just coming back into the station. You're standing here filming. But I can't be that much of a security but risk. This is just simply the a camera. You're filming the and going to armed officers and other officers at work here. So, so technically, that car there could have a dash cam fitted and that could be doing all the same but thing in a, cov yeah, in a covert manner. But I'm doing this completely overtly. I'm, I'm you know, that I'm engaging with yourselves. You could be doing any sort of... The terrorist threat is severe to police stations. It's not. That means an attack. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It a is. police station has never been subject so to what, a so terrorist attack. So what's the attack. national terrorist threat at the moment? The, the, the threat is Can severe, you tell me what the but police like, stations... So what does that are not, mean? It means... An attack is highly likely. Like, right. but not on a police station, maybe yes. in a civilian dense place. Yes, it does. It maybe like suffice. cathedral it or shopping centre. Okay. Okay. So I'm entitled to stop and speak to you no, and try and find out what your name and your date of birth is. If you're here, Poli just doing what you say on YouTube, whatever video it is you're yeah. doing, I'm quite happy to stay here. Okay. I don't think that's difficult. Police stations aren't valuable but now targets. We're on, you're not moving, you're continuing to, you're refusing to desist. Now I'm going to have to get other officers here because we don't, need to move you on. Don't. We you don't. Do, you I just do. need to go, on, go on about do. your day. I do. You're not confirming who you are. I don't have to confirm. I'm right. not going to confirm. Well, you will soon, sir. I won't. Right. I won't. Like, I'm beginning to lose a bit of patience assist. now. Like. I'm not. You're losing patience. No, I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing patience now because you're being very persistent. Like relentless questioning, interrogation. What's it's your name? What are you doing here? I'm not asking what your name is and what you're doing. As a police officer, I'm entitled to do that. Okay. If you're being filmed as well, you're filming us right now. Surely we have the right... Do you know what I mean? You don't have any right. To, to view this footage when it's on your YouTube channel, no, whatever you choose to do. Any right? information I compile on you, I don't have to abide by any sort of GDPR or anything. So. No. I don't work for an institution. That's the reason why you have to let me know I'm being recorded because That's should I want to make a subject just, access request. Which is why I did. Like, yeah, you know, as soon as it went but on. The, the, the legislation doesn't apply to me um, as it does to you. I'm just trying to have an adult conversation. With I know, you. I know. I appreciate it. We were getting somewhere at one point here. All right. I, I feel like it's gone back a little bit here, but you have to understand so if we saw somebody take a different set of circumstances and we saw somebody who we believed might have been a housebreaker yeah. lurking around the house taking a film okay yeah if we check that person out and that person is a known housebreaker how do you think we are then going to react to that no but there has to be an objective basis like you know the guy he's got previous well, for burglary if he's loitering around a house that he has no reason to be there but so you have to go sense. based on what you do know, like ob objective facts. You know, if they if he said, yeah, there's a guy, you know, that fits my description, that is a known security risk, then there, that would be your objective basis. At this moment, that you don't know me, so there is no objective basis. basis. It could simply be somebody that's yeah, suspicious, yeah. somebody filming a police station. I know, but that's this isn't a crime. Basis. This isn't a crime. What I've just said to you, standing outside somebody's private dwelling isn't a crime either, but if you've got no reason to be there, yes, yes, and it's making somebody feel uncomfortable, then we are duty-bound to, to look into that, am mm -hmm, I right? Mm -hmm. So, if we check that person out and they're not known to us at all, yeah. it's fair for us to say, well, it's been a misunderstanding, they're in there for their own reason. If we check that person out and they're actually known to be an active housebreaker mm -hmm. that changes things do you know what but I mean? you have to go on based on what you do know not what you don't know as i mentioned not everyone is is an unknown risk so to speak like this isn't a police state you can't just um can't expect someone to give their details because you find their behavior unusual so where, I don't know, they talking, they, 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 where have you they, established they that information from that there's no such thing as an unknown risk because it is because you can't treat everyone something. as such until a certain threshold is is reached or met Okay, well, I'm going to put it out there and say that you have reached that threshold by filming a police station and going around the city filming different police stations. And my interpretation of that is that you have met that threshold. Okay, okay so, so how do we proceed? 
Well, as my colleagues just explained to you, if you just give us your details and we establish who you are and we realise there's nothing to worry about here, sorry. that's fine. I won't be right. giving any details. Division officers will be coming to speak to you. What okay. are the there's terror? No. 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 What can they do that Listen, you can't? I know that word's came up here, okay? Let's yeah. forget about that right yeah, now. Let's forget I'm not about saying that. anything about terrorism, okay? Yeah. I'm talking about a security threat in general. That could be, like I've said, that could be breaking in. That could be, we don't know what your intentions are, okay? So it's nothing to do with terrorism as such, all right? Okay, all what right, we're getting at here is just that if you were to just be standing here and you were keeping an eye on those bikes and you were filming those bikes or whatever, yeah, right. that to me is suspicious. It doesn't mean that you're a terrorist. That's not what we're getting at here, all, all right? Good, good. So please don't think that. All right, thanks. I thought the armed response vehicles were BMWs. I didn't know that they were Volvos. So obviously they are homeworks. The Volvos are the new vehicles that we've got. Oh, right. really? Is that in England as well or just Scotland? Uh, I imagine they're starting to, to get some new ones in England as well, I don't know. Alright. We still have some BMWs, but... Fair enough, right. man. But this, I'm sure you can understand that this is our place of work, alright? We have a, a right to a private life as well, our cars are coming but and you going You don't have any station. right to, to, to privacy in public. So, when I finish my duty today, mm -hmm. and you're still standing here with your phone and I drive away, yeah. do you not think I have a right to a private life no. at that stage? No, because well, you've got CCTV cameras everywhere. That yeah, you're cut. wrong though. We have a right to a private life as well, okay? So at the moment, I'm going about my business as a police officer, so if you want to film me, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you choose to film me when I'm not at work, or I'm no, leaving could, at work... I still could. If, I was in, if you're in public, you don't have any expectation of privacy. If somebody asks you not to, and somebody asks you to desist, I disagree with that. It would like, be courteous. I understand it's a little bit intrusive. Right. It's not... Um, I wouldn't want a camera stuck in my face. Exactly. I mean, I mean, yeah, like I, to I get that. If somebody but was walking about just filming. Oh, we're no talking about law. We're not talking about our feelings and, and what we, we what we would like. Um, from a legal basis, everything I'm doing is is fine. Do you think your interpretation of that? Going from station to station, filming stations is okay. The taxpayer pays for the station. I'm a taxpayer. I'm a member of the public. It's a public interest. Respect to you, sir. I'll just keep that there, all right? And we'll just cease this conversation just now. Right? Why? Because you decide. Uh, I'm not going to speak and engage with any further. You've had ample opportunity to give me an explanation, all right? And as I said, I'm going to have another couple of divisional colleagues come down and speak to you formally about it, all right? Is that what you were looking to achieve today, or what? what's... I don't really understand all, your all will be All will be found out in due time, depending on the I'll outcome of this. I watching your blog, sir, if, it, if it's on the telly or, or whatever. It's, it's quite, quite I interesting. thought the conversation was, was ceased. I still look forward to Okay, so you've made, a, you've made a presumption that it's, it's going to be part of some sort of social media blog. So if that's the case, I don't what's know. the need? Did you not say that earlier, that you use this for your own... Own recreation, it could, it yeah. could constitute a variety of different means. Of course it could. What sort of reaction have you had when you've been doing this around the country? A variety. In stop search under the Terrorism Act. Okay. So we're not we're not doing that right now. I know. So you can understand that we're I think we're being fairly reasonable. Yeah, you right? you'd need to reasonably suspect that I'm here for a for a terrorist purpose. And filming from a public place. Does so not the meet that, the required so the fact threshold. That they, they obviously did suspect that, though, didn't they? Yeah, but they were wrong, and they're now in the process of being sued. Right. Okay. For um, a violation of my civil rights. Okay. So yeah. Uh, have you had any positive interactions? Yeah, no, for sure. Good. Again, I'm not here to antagonise anyone. I, I have to fix the variables. Don't feel just no, no, good. Well, some people feel like this is provocative in nature, and and I'm just here to to, oh. to seek a reaction. This is not purely security. The case. No, 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 of course. But other interpretations are, are as such. Is this at headquarters? Yeah. Where is it you're from? Uh, Again, that's not a leading Eng question. Yeah, I'm just asking because you England, obviously, England. Yeah, obviously. Purpose like, have you came here to do this today or? No, I was here. Um, 
just a, for a little holiday I figured whilst I'm here I'll take some photos take some videos yeah I mean I find it all very interesting. I'm not, I'm not belittling you at all. No, 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 right. I appreciate it. No, you've been very polite. I've, I don't have any concerns. As I, as I mentioned, all will be found out in due course, depending on um, the outcome and if we can yeah. uh, find a, a resolution that kind of... So what... Yeah, help me help you here, right? Mm -hmm. What is your resolution to this? What would you like to have? I want, I want my... Um, Obviously. Right to film from public to be respected. I don't want to right. be interfered with. I don't want to have to give a, over any details. I'm not um, withholding the details, you know, in order to hide something. It's simply because I'm not required to. Right, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. No, I don't have anything to hide. Like, you've been perfectly polite. I, I've got no um, reason to not give you my name. Yeah. It's not for that, but as I mentioned, there's no requirement for me to do so. So um, for that reason, I'm not. See, yeah. as, as a public servant though, do you think I'm doing my mm. job or we're doing our jobs correctly if we just leave you to be and we don't know what you're I mean, I feel is. like you probably could satisfy, you know, you're well within your right to have a conversation. We've had a conversation. I feel like you could have have satisfied that I'm not here for any sort of... Um, a name check would have done that. Ill motive. A yeah, but irrespective. I feel like a, a conversation, you have to appreciate that not everyone uh, tells us the truth, you know? Yeah, so, but you have to use your intuition, your judgment. I mean, I don't know how long you've been an officer, but... Yeah. With that sort of experience, you should be able to sort of... I'll be honest, my intuition is that you're doing exactly what you say you're doing. Yeah, there you However, go. However, I can only establish that one safe way. I, can't, I know, but... I can't just go and gut instinct and then something happens and I find out later that I've, it's a neglected duty, isn't it? Mm, it see, I suppose it's a grey area, but again... I, I wouldn't say that's a grey area at all. If, if I would stop any person standing outside this police station, okay? Regardless of filming or not, if they're loitering around, mm -hmm. we regularly go for runs before work, we see people standing here, okay? Mm -hmm. I would regularly stop somebody and ask them what their intentions are, okay? Mm -hmm. That's just me doing my job. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think it's a great area, personally speaking, at all. I think if I can establish who you are and what you're here for, mm -hmm. that's me doing my job. And if I don't do that, I think I'm neglecting my duty. All right, so we're probably gonna butt horns a wee bit on this one, because you've got your opinion, I've got mine. Yeah. But there's one safe way to get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Which is? Notify your details, check you out. You're not known to police, end of, that's it. That is honestly it. I can't, I'm not going to hand over any details, I'm afraid. How would you... How would you obtain my details? I'm kindly asking you for them as I did earlier when I first met you. No, but if I'm refusing that channel... Well, as I've said to you, we're on police just going back to our place of work, OK? We happen to stop here. We haven't been sent here. Mm -hmm. It's not proportionate to send our police to something like this, OK? Mm -hmm. So... That's why we're getting divisional officers to come in. And whatever they choose to deal with this is up to them. Okay? okay, They're going to come and deal with you as they see fit. In the meantime? In the meantime, we're just having a, a conversation. All right? Okay. I'm not going to let you go about your business until we establish who you are. So am, I det am I detained? I'm not detaining you at the moment. Okay? So I can leave? Well, we're waiting on other officers to come here. But I can leave? Listen. I feel like I've been very reasonable. You have, right? but I, I, I I'm, I'm, free, I'm, free, to, I'm free to go. I do think you're trying to trip us up here. No, I'm not trying to trip you right, up. I'm, I'm operating within the boundaries of the law. So I'm yeah. free to go now, yeah? We're free to go about your business. However, we're trying to get to the bottom of this and why yeah. you've done what you've done. And we're trying to... I'm trying to educate you in the same way that you're trying to educate me. Do you understand? So if I, like, if I choose to just walk down there now, you're not going to follow me. Bill. Speak to the sergeant's going to see what they want to do about this. All right? I'm oh, no, but if I'm not detained, if I'm not detained, I can just leave. It's current time. Right? Yeah. You're not detained. We're okay, so I can, I can, I can just leave. I'm not saying that you won't be detained once we establish what's going on because you're not, you're not being yes, compliant yes, at yeah, all. We don't understand why you're here. Don't need to comply with anything. No, you don't. But you do understand. Obviously, you understand legislation quite well and law. So mm -hmm. you, you obviously know that refusing to desist. Is an issue. I don't have to assist you with any sort of investigation. Well, There's a case law precedent that says that. So if we asked you not to do something yeah. and you refused to do it, yeah. refusing to desist from a police station, that's an offence in itself. All right? It's not. What offence is that? And as I've explained to you before, we don't know your intentions here. We don't know if you are here to commit crime, if you're here to break in. If you're well, here if you don't know, then you don't know. You have to go on based on what you do know. And I don't have to assist you with any sort of investigation. Yeah. It's my right to not even speak. Like, I feel as like we're kind officer, of going around in we, circles. As a police officer, we go on information intelligence and we go on in fact. All right, That's what we work on. Yeah. But we do have to sometimes use communication skills mm -hmm. and we have to sometimes reason with people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's normal behaviour. I don't think we would get anywhere if we constantly just went based on legislation and nothing else. All right? You so, absolutely have to go based on legislation. 
Can I ask what the time is, by the way? It's 10 minutes past one. At the all moment. right, all right. But I think, I think we police by consent in this country, okay? And I think if we were to constantly go down the route of just hounding people with legislation, we wouldn't get anywhere. So we have to use our discretion a little bit, all right? And we have to try and have an honest conversation. And I'm here to try and learn why you're here. And you're here to hopefully have a positive interaction with the police, all right? So there you go. There's different ways to deal with things. It doesn't have to always be we're formally detaining you right now or anything like that. We're having an adult conversation, like I've said to you so many times, and I feel like we're getting somewhere. But it doesn't seem like we're getting anywhere. We can only get so far before we have to take action. You're you know being I mean? very rigid. You're essentially saying, unless you give you your details, I won't be free to do what I'm doing. You you keep making claim to getting to the bottom of this. But we don't take people's word for things that we don't know, all right? We can't take... If I turn up at somebody's just stole something from Waitrose mm -hmm. and they need to say, well, I didn't steal something, I can't take their word for it if we've got other reason to believe that they have taken something. So... Oh, well, you'd have cameras, you'd have witness statements. Yeah, of course. You well, can't we, just approach someone on the street and be like, oh, I want to search you. CCTV footage of you here, of you at St. Leonard's Police Station, mm -hmm. all right? Doing the same sort of thing, mm -hmm. filming, and that in our... Boss, that's per our security train, that to us would sound a little bit, do you know what I mean? But I haven't committed any offences. No, you've not committed an offence, but standing outside the police station filming it, making people feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. to their fear and alarm, alright? Mm -hmm. You're bordering on committing an offence. What offence? Well, section 38 is, is causing fear and alarm, okay? How you choose to cause fear and alarm is up to you, but... Section 38 of... Justice what? Okay. Again, you're just trying to trip us up here now. I'm not. Right, I'm not. I'm not here just to recite loads and loads of legislation at you. I'm trying to explain to you that causing fear and alarm to somebody comes in a whole matter of means. All right. I'm not causing fear or alarm to anyone. Well, you, you, I would say people that are working there right now, and there's somebody standing outside filming their every move. I would say that is causing fear and alarm. Would is you this, not? Is this the Public Order Act? I'm, not, I'm confused. What, no. What act are you referring to? Criminal License and Justice Scotland Act. As okay. you just said, all right? What, so by virtue of filming, I so can... It's, it's very similar to a breach of the peace down south, okay? A section 38, the Criminal Licence and Justice Scotland Act, which means that you've caused fear and alarm to people within there. Which, I would say, if I drive out here in my own car right now, and you're filming my every move, I would say that would cause me fear and alarm. What, what about I mean? CCTV cameras that film me going about my daily business? Yeah, but Are that's they not government, I'm afraid. That's not, <laughs> that's not me that does that, Yeah, well, it? the government can't always be trusted, can they? No, they probably can't. Look, at Wayne, look at Wayne Cousins. Look at Wayne Cousins. We're civilians as well, you know. Like we, yeah. we live in the same world as you do. Okay, that can't. That isn't our choice, unfortunately. And we don't control every CCTV camera in this area. I know, but right, by that, so by I, that same logic, that those I could, I could claim to be f feeling f fear and alarm by virtue of being filmed on CCTV. Like, is, is really no different. No, you could. I'm just independent with a camera as opposed to someone watching over a CCTV. Yeah, in a, in a control room. To, if you chose to progress that line of inquiry, you crack on. That, it's up to you. You're don't think making do threats of like breach of the peace and stuff is a good. No, I'm not, really I'm not good making look. threats right now. I'm telling you that you have constituted that offence. All right, well then arrest me then. Well, that it might happen. I'm All giving right. you, like well, I said, what do you want me to say? Like I can't. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to be reasonable with you. All right. Well, I'm just employ to get my details. I'm trying to use my discretion. If you think an offence has been committed, then I'd expect you to arrest that offender. No, if you think every time police officers arrest somebody, every time they believe an offence has been committed, that's not a good policing system, okay? We police by consent, we police the public, we try and understand where they're coming from. Do you know what I mean? All these things come into play. We don't just arrest everybody based on simple fact. So, there's more to it than this. And I think, I think you're going about it in the wrong way. If you want to get information at us, it's absolutely fine. Happy to talk to you. But I think you're certainly going about it the wrong way, and some of your views, I think, are slightly... They're not quite accurate, mate. So this is what, I'm not here to have some sort of, like, political discussion. Like, it's quite black and white. I'm on a pavement. I can film from public. There should be no more to it than that.